Hey, welcome back. Advanced eDiscovery builds on the existing set of eDiscovery capabilities in Microsoft 365. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate Certification course. After this lesson, you should be able to describe advanced eDiscovery, configure permissions for users in advanced eDiscovery, create cases in advanced eDiscovery, and search and prepare data for advanced e-discovery. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's understand what is advanced e-discovery first. With advanced e-discovery, you can better understand your Microsoft 365 data and reduce your e-discovery cost. And advanced e-discovery helps you analyze unstructured data within Microsoft 365 and perform more efficient document review and make decisions to reduce data for e-discovery. And advanced e-discovery help you analyze large data sets and find content that most relevant to a case. The built-in workflow of advanced e-discovery aligns with e-discovery process outlined by the Electronic Discovery Reference Model or EDRM. At a high level, Advanced eDiscovery supports EDRM workflow, which include identification, preservation, collection, processing, review, analysis, production, and presentation. Let's have a look at the advanced eDiscovery workflow. This is an example screenshot which shows the home tab of an advanced eDiscovery case. To get you started with advanced eDiscovery, Let's look at the sample workflow that aligns with common e-discovery practices. The first step after creating a case is to add custodians. A custodian is a person having administrative control of a document or electronic file that may be relevant to the case. Second step is to search custodial data sources for data relevant to the case. After you add custodians to a case, Use the built-in search tool to search the custodian data location for data that may be relevant to the case. And the third step is to add data to a review set. So once you have configured and verified that a search returns the desired data, the next step is to add the search result to a review set. And the fourth step is to review and analyze data in the review set. This include viewing document and creating queries and filters. And the last step is to export and download case data. Let's understand how can you analyze data in eDiscovery. When the number of collected document is large, it can be difficult to review them all. Advanced eDiscovery provides a number of tools to analyze the documents to reduce the volume of documents to be reviewed without any loss in information and to help you organize the documents in a coherent manner. Some of these capabilities include near duplicate detection, email threading, and themes. So what is near duplicate detection? Consider a set of documents to be reviewed in which a subset is based on the same template and has mostly the same boilerplate language with a few differences here and there. If a reviewer could identify this subset, review one of them thoroughly and review the differences of the rest. Second is email threading. Email threading parses each email and deconstructs it to individual messages. Each email is a chain of individual messages. Then it analyzes all emails in the working set to determine whether an email has unique content or if the chain is wholly contained in a different email. In the end, emails are divided into four categories. Inclusive, inclusive minutes, inclusive copy, and none. And finally, let's understand what is themes. Themes analyze documents with text in a working set to parse out common themes that appear across the documents. The theme that appears most prominently in a document is designated as its dominant theme. All right, so that concludes the last lesson for this MS500. In the next video, we're going to look into module 14, Knowledge Check. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.